Malaria and dengue are still a concerning disease in Malaysia and also globally. To control them, we need to study the mosquitoes. And usually, we need some mechanism to blood feed the mosquitoes. Many scientists, they use live animals. Nonetheless, there are problems such as ethical issues and also high costs attached to them. Some other researchers, they use artificial blood feeding system. But sometimes, the system can be very expensive. So that's why my team and I decided to invent a new device called Digital Thermo Mosquito Blood Feeder, also known as DITMOF. DITMOF is an artificial blood feeding system used to heat up the blood. This blood is needed for the hungry female mosquitoes to produce enough viable egg. DITMOF has three main components, which is a strip heater inside the stainless steel casing. Second component is the digital thermocontroller, which you can actually set the temperature to constant temperature. And lastly is the heating plate, where you can put a dish containing the blood to feed the mosquitoes. To start the feeding, we need to use this dish called feeder. Then, we wrap it with a special type of membrane, attach the dish to the surface of the dead moth, insert the blood inside the dish, and then we move the mosquito cage next to dead moth to start the feeding process. The specialty of dead moth in comparison with other commercially available devices is that it can feed the mosquitoes in a natural position side by side to produce a maximum number of eggs. Ditmov also has a wider heating plate which you can attach more than one dishes on it. More importantly, Ditmov is more affordable compared to other devices in the market. Ditmov can benefit anyone who needs adequate supply of mosquitoes. For example, researchers from various sectors and industries to help them to maintain mosquito colony in the laboratory. DITMOF has received recognition of Innovation Awards from Faculty of Medicine in 2023. I sincerely hope that DITMOF can contribute to more research on mosquito-borne diseases. This will lead to a better health and well-being of humankind. We can combat these diseases together.